Här kommer nu en liten låt som i tillämpliga delar handlar om mig själv. Och kanske också om någon annan, vad vet man om det? Det har varit en väldigt svårig år för alla. Den påverkan av covid-19, den förlust av lovade ones, den need för social distancing och påverkan av ekonomin har varit major challenges för alla som går igenom det här. While the only good news at the moment is that there are some vaccines which are beginning to roll out in certain countries, there still is a need for everyone to do their part and flatten the curve. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of what's happening in Vancouver, Canada and what people are trying to do to stay safe during the pandemic. Masks. Your mask will generally start off in two types. You have disposable, like this one. These ones can be thrown away when you're done with them. You also have fabric masks like this one, which can be used generally again and again after a good wash. Other options include face shields, like you can see here, gloves or protective gowns, generally worn by healthcare workers in hospitals, and goggles. So going downtown, is a little different than it used to be. There are a lot more signs showing rules which limit the number of people who can go inside a store. Perfect. Yep. Inside businesses there are a lot of stickers on the walls and windows and floors which tell you where you can walk and which direction you can walk in. There are also a lot of protective barriers. Usually these are plastic, you can see through them and they're used to separate you from somebody who's working at a store. Staying safe in public is essential and it's also important to protect yourself and others around you in a few simple ways. One of the things you can do is cough or sneeze into your arm. Avoid crowded areas or maybe consider choosing a different time to do certain things when you're planning your daily schedule. Sanitize your hands after touching high traffic areas and you can also wash your hands with soap for approximately 25 seconds. Limit your contact with family and friends. Some more video chats with friends and family. When you're arriving from another country, you need to quarantine at home for approximately two weeks. This means staying away from everyone, including friends, family, roommates. And most importantly, if you have any COVID-related symptoms, it's important for you to stay home. So I hope that you guys are staying safe and positive during the pandemic. I know it's a difficult time, but it's really important that we limit contact so that the hospitals can do their job and people stay safe. I hope you're staying positive, staying busy, and I hope you guys found that lesson really useful. Tell us in the comments section, what are you guys doing in your country to try and stay safe during the pandemic? Take care, everybody. Big air hug from Vancouver, Canada, and we'll talk to you soon.